What's good, YouTube? Vikasa Kavi here. So, we're diving into another one from Paul Kelly. This one was mentioned by Mama Down Under. Everything's turning white is what we're doing for Paul Kelly today. Very excited for another one from him. As you guys know, I've really loved his lyricism, his storytelling ability. It is top tier. It is on par with the greatest songwriting of the world, really. He is up there with the greatest in the world, for sure, when it comes to his songwriting ability, the amount of descriptors and unique ways that he has to describe things and dive into the topics that he talks about, and his topic selection is unique. It's always something different inside of each song. He doesn't touch on the same topic in every single song from what we have seen so far. It has all been unique and different with each song so i'm interested to see what everything's turning to white is going to give us here with his lyrical ability i'm very excited for it if you're new here go ahead and subscribe for me we talk about mental health addiction world issues everything in between break down all the lyrics instrumentation positive vibes great way to wind down or begin your day we spread some awareness about mental health and addiction and we talk to each other about the problems we're going through in our life if you're going through something and you feel like you don't have anyone to talk to you can leave it in the comments or in the live chat during the premieres there's plenty of people here who will be willing to give you advice and help point you in the right direction to better your life and help yourself to have a better time that's what it's all about on here is getting that out there the love and the positivity into the world and just helping each other out a little bit whenever we're feeling alone and like we might not have anyone to talk to about something we're going through i love that we have that on here thank you for building this community with me we're going to get into this one i'm vacasa Kavi. a reaction video a day or two keep the doctor away fuck those apples this is paul kelly everything's turning to white I like that. Spring. Late on a Friday, my husband went up to the okay. mountains with okay. three. You did, one of you did mention that this was written from the perspective of a feminine perspective. And I like that. I like that he took, see what I mean about him being unique? He's writing this from a feminine perspective. I like that. That's really cool to take that and flip it for the sake of storytelling in a song format. I like that he flipped the perspective like that. Late on a Friday, my husband went up to the mountains with three friends. They took provisions, mm. bottles of bourbon to last them all through the weekend. Okay. 100 miles they drove Just to fish in a stream mm. And there's so much water mm. So close to home Oh, wow. This is really well written right here. Like I said, he does not disappoint. He has not let me down so far with anything we've done by him. I am baffled every time I see his true lyrical ability and storytelling ability. It's like reading a novel in short format, right? I love it. I love that about his lyricism. It really is a huge story inside of anything that he touches. I love it. Late on a Friday, my husband went up to the mountains with three friends. They took provisions and bottles of bourbon to last them all through the weekend. Yep, fishing trip, man. 100 miles they drove just to fish in a stream, and there's so much water so close to home. Hmm. The implications there, right, can mean a couple different things. I'm sure that we are going to find out what the implications here with that are. I am sure that we will find that out as we get into these next verses. I love the vibe of this so far. His voice is amazing. I love how chill and relaxing his voice is. Just calmly telling us beautiful story after story, man. I love it. When they arrived, it was cold and dark. They set up their camp quickly. Yeah. Warmed up with whiskey. They walked to the river. 
Where the water flowed past darkly In the moonlight they saw the body oh, Of a girl boy. floating face down And there's so much water So close to home Wow, like a, this man's storytelling, plot twist, right? I love it. It got dark real quick, didn't it? <laughs> so when they arrived, it was cold and dark. They set up their camp quickly, warmed up with whiskey. They walked to the river where the water flowed past darkly. Beautiful descriptors here, man. It's like you're there really this is beautiful songwriting it really is just like you're there it's so amazing it said in the moonlight they saw the body of a girl floating face down and there's so much water so close to home you can take that two different ways with the context of what's happening to them here in this story saying <clears throat> You could have just stayed home and this never would have happened. You never would have seen these things. There's water at home. But also saying, wow, that also feels kind of close to home because there's so much water so close to home. And that could have been right here as well. Right? It was like a double there. You can look at it two different ways. I like that. That's very intentional. This is very smart songwriting right here. Paul Kelly, man. Genius songwriting. When he holds me now, I'm pretending I feel like I'm frozen inside And behind my eyes, my daily disguise Everything's turning to white When he holds me now, I'm pretending I feel like I'm frozen inside and behind my eyes, my daily disguise, everything's turning to white. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Were they actually searching that out? Were they are like a search party? Oh, fucking hell. Don't tell me. I think I know where this might go. Oh, God, I really hope not. Guys, what do you got me on here? Am I about to be really upset here? I'm already upset that someone died and there was a body, obviously, but now the way that this emotion was described on the other end of the spectrum, it's like, this sounds like it's not going to go somewhere at all away from home. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. It was too hard to tell how long she'd been dead. The river was that close to freezing. Wow. But one thing for sure, the girl hadn't died very well. To judge from the bruising, man. They stood there above her, all thinking the same thoughts at the same time. There's so much water. So close to home. Oh, Lord. Whew, this is heavy. My freaking arm hairs are standing up. I don't know if y'all can see that, but my arm hairs were standing. <laughs> oh, God, man. Whew. This is top tier storytelling right here. You can feel that to the core. Oh. It was too hard to tell how long she'd been dead. The river was that close to freezing. But one thing for sure, the girl hadn't died very well to judge from the bruising, bro. They stood there above her, all thinking the same thoughts at the same time. There's so much water so close to home. Oh my god. This is a lot, man. This is brilliant storytelling, though. 
this is emotionally heavy, man. I don't have anything to really say about it except that it's amazing storytelling. It's giving me chills, dude. This is too much. So this is what they did. They carried her downstream from their fishing. Oh, boy. Between two smooth rocks, they gently wedged her. After all, it was late. And they come a long way. The girl would keep. She was going nowhere. They stayed out there fishing for two days. They reported that on Sunday when they came back down, there's so much water, so close to home. I can't right now. I can't with you, Paul. I can't. <laughs> Y'all got me too fucked up with this one. <laughs> Are you serious? Wow. Just casually said it spoken word style too. I love that about him, man. <laughs> he said, so this is what they did. They carried her downstream from their fishing. Between two smooth rocks, they gently wedged her. After all, it was late and they'd come a long way. The girl would keep. She was going nowhere. They stayed up there fishing for two days. They reported it on a Sunday when they came back down. There's so much water, so close to home. What the hell, man? Paul Kelly is next level for real. This is too much. You guys said that the catalog is deep, and I am going to be here for all of it. I don't care if he has 350 songs. We'll do all of them, man, for real. <laughs> I don't think that there's going to be a single thing inside of there that isn't enjoyable and isn't fucking a fantastic story. To come up with this concept, and I, I want to know. I really... Oh, boy. That's so cold. It's so cold in here right now. That's how I feel about this. What the fuck? <laughs> I, need, I just, like, needed a minute to gather myself after that because that is fucking insane. I mean, I was possibly expecting it to be, like, maybe someone that was missing that they knew that they were, like, possibly looking for, and it was, like, so close to home and everything, but now... <sighs> what the fuck? I can't. <laughs> when he holds me now, I'm pretending... <laughs> Nothing is working inside. <laughs> oh, oh, my. He can't even. Did you guys hear that? He's like, I can't believe I've written this. Did you hear that? He can't even. He's in disbelief of his own self right now. He's like, what'd you do? <laughs> what? Sometimes you just write and like I can tell that he probably writes novels and stuff in his free time even maybe just as a hobby because I know I do I write stories in my free time as a hobby I've never put any of them out but I write in my free time just as practice and stuff and I imagine he probably does that. He's probably a novelist as well. He might even have a secret surname that he goes under and puts books out. A lot of people do that, right? That that would not surprise me if Paul Kelly also made books as well, like in his downtime, because his writing sounds like he writes books. He just baffled himself. He was like, I can't believe you put that in a song. Like that little giggle there told the whole fucking story. It matched exactly how I was feeling about that. Just... Wow. Wow. Th th this is like the craziest fucking thing <laughs> I think we've had on the channel right here. This is next level storytelling. Excellent right here. Dark as fuck, but excellent, man. <laughs> Too long. 
What's another? When he holds me now, I'm pretending. <laughs> Nothing is working inside. Good Lord. <laughs> Behind my eyes, my daily disguise. Everything's turning to white. This is insane. Oh, don't. I read the first bar of this as he was about to say it. Are we real? Are you serious? This is the realest motherfucking storytelling I've ever seen in a song. Paul Kelly, you are a different fucking kind of songwriter. For those of you who have never heard this song, just wait a sec. Now the newspapers said that the girl had been strangled to death and also molested on the day of the funeral. The radio reported that a young man had been arrested. I went to the service a stranger. I drove past the lake out of town. There's so much water, so close to home. My man is making movies. This is a movie. This is a like a TV show episode. The attention to detail, as gruesome as it is, <clears throat> as tough it is to take in, it's daunting, man. I can understand why even he had that moment of giggle inside of that last chorus where he's just like, Jesus Christ, I've actually written this story for a song. It's real. It's like the realest ever. I appreciate the hell out of that about it. It's viciously honest, grotesquely honest. Oh, God. The newspaper said that the girl had been strangled to death and also molested on the day of the funeral. The radio reported that a young man had been arrested. I went to the service, a stranger. I drove past the lake out of town. There's so much water so close to home. Wow. She said she went to the service. Wow. She went to the funeral, man. This is so fucking deep. This hurts. I'm in pain, like physical pain from this song. This is a painful song right here. Paul Kelly is next level. This is one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life, hands down. It, as sad and grotesque and detailed as it is, that's what makes it one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. There's very few songs that are this honest about the storytelling inside of them very few and when you find one it's just a very special moment this isn't a song that i would like listen to all the time but as a story and a work of art and a piece of art this is one of the best things i've ever heard in my entire life brilliant storytelling amazing storytelling like I said, gruesomely detailed. So realistic. It, Paul Kelly is different, bro. This is fucking crazy. When he holds me now, I'm pretending. I feel like I'm frozen inside. My God. Behind my eyes, my daily disguise. Everything's turning to white. Hell yeah. <sighs> that 
that was amazing. That was, like I said, one of the best songs I've ever heard in my entire life, storytelling-wise. This was brilliantly written and captured every single gruesome detail and emotion that it needed to for the proper story to be told. This was like watching a television show and actually seeing it with your eyes. That's how great he is. You could feel it the same way as watching a movie and actually seeing the full picture inside of the screen. He just made that happen with words. What a fucking brilliant songwriter. I am so impressed right now. Like, you guys have no clue. I'm beyond impressed with this song. It... I haven't had a song make me actually feel this level of deep emotion in so long. It's so fucking dark and perfectly, like I said, captures everything it needs to. That everything's turning to white, almost like a fresh canvas just walking forward into the light. Reborn, essentially. Just, that's what I take that as. It's just everything's white. I can't see past what just took place here and that means that I can no longer see you and I need to have a fresh canvas and go on a new road I can't look at you the same wow oh my god The original video will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Paul Kelly. Support all the artists we have on the channel. Paul Kelly is one of the greatest songwriters to ever touch a pen and hold a guitar. For real. What a brilliant storyteller. This is, like I said, this is one of the best songs I've ever heard in my entire life. It's not, like, it's not one I'm going to listen to often, but it is certainly one of the best songs I've ever heard in my entire life. Thank you for this request. This was, this was something right here. Holy shit. We're going to get out of here. I love you guys. Thank you for building an amazing community here, being here for each other to talk about our issues and everything we go through in life to help each other out and gain some knowledge on being better inside of the issues that you deal with in life finding the building blocks to just have a better life and encourage each other to be the best versions of ourselves at all moments. This got me shook, dude. This has me shook. We're getting out of here. I'm because of coffee. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a beautiful one. Peace.